welcome back as i told you earlier that we're gonna have a makeup interview concerning the beauty industry and the beauty and cosmetic industry has become kenya's new hub of investment that is pulling a big money to establish new lines of business and to snap up successful enterprises through the multi-million kenya shillings um this clearly is a huge market where men and women have already splashed on themselves to look good and smell nice. And today, as I told you earlier, that I'm joined by a beautician. He's known as Daniel Mora. They welcome. Thank you. Um, he's a beautician and he has told me also he's a good man. And so to make that clear, we can start um, our interview by making, um, there's really one need on makeup. Does one really need a makeup to be done? Oh, okay. It depends. Okay. But I think it's a necessity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is a necessity. Yeah. Why is it really a necessity okay. when it comes to both men and women? Because yeah. of late, men has have, have kind of embraced this. For you being a man in this industry, actually. Okay, this okay. Makeup. Uh, yeah, the yeah, ladies mm -hmm. and men are quite different. Yeah. So you, uh, for the ladies, you need the pons and stuffs and the lipstick. But for men, you just need the to mm -hmm. keep your uh, lips mm -hmm. uh, grossed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And uh, you being a male, what did you see in this makeup industry that actually made you venture in it? Well, uh, first of all, it's just like uh, it's something that I loved. Mm -hmm. Actually, a brief, a brief uh, bit of history. You mm -hmm. told me that you were an actor and then later you ventured into the beauty industry. Why? Why the main reason? Okay, first of all, I uh, mm -hmm. little story of mine. Like, uh, when I was in high school, okay. uh, I read an article mm -hmm. uh, certain guys from the West, Lisa Maiz, you are an African mm -hmm. because they are ugly. Oh God, we are beautiful. <laughs> okay. uh <-huh. laughs> of course you are. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know the, the, uh, the dark skins. Mm -hmm. On a chukiwa, uh -huh. that kind of racist thing. Yeah. So I, it was in me that like, Nkara Kujua, okay. Kenya Diona, mm -hmm. and uh, do I, I come with that something because maybe something I think of from a Diona. So mm -hmm. I was so much interested. So I looked at my mom and my sister. So mm -hmm. I think they don't look bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But maybe they, he saw something. So mm -hmm. that's good. He can put an interest in dogo. So I did acting. So in acting, you do makeup, of course. Yeah, yeah. So and I got a good source of income. So I ventured. Wow, wow, that's nice. And how is the makeup industry in Kenya? Um, we we are narrowing this up. Um, our viewer, the beauty industry is very, very big. We have the hair, hair, hair beauty. We have the makeup. We have the manicure, the pedicure. But today we're gonna talk about the makeup industry, about um, your your appearance, the face, actuality, and how how is the makeup industry in Kenya? Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite promising. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's continue. It's growing day by day. Kirasi kui kona chalinzake, but. To now grow, but mm. it's quite good. It's quite good. Yeah. Um. There is a big, a really big growth in it, yeah, and sure, sure. there are different local brands that have emerged in the beauty industry. Sure. And what's the biggest market of makeup? This in Intel in in, um. What I mean is the age group. Mm -hmm. How um how how does it go about it? Okay, the age group when you know makeup mostly mm -hmm. the young adults mm -hmm. to like uh, those mature women. Like uh, an age of between 16 mm -hmm. and uh, early 50s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Wow, and the business to business because mm -hmm. you get um, probably the weddings. Like someone mm -hmm. will will come to you and say that I need makeup for my wedding. I need makeup for 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 the media personalities. Uh, which business is it growing mo mostly? Uh, most of the like when you uh, some uh, weddings mm -hmm. in like Corona events, mm -hmm. so mostly oh, right. uh, yeah. events in a grow more mm -hmm. than uh, the daily makeup because than the daily makeup. Uh, uh, most of the clients want to do day to do makeup every day. Yeah, most yeah, of them sure. just know how to do it by themselves. Yeah, yeah, but sure. for the wedding, it need a special. Yeah. And, it's a special and, and there are many people and that you get people, yeah, yeah, sure. in once. So. Okay, wow, that's nice. And how long have you been in this industry? Well, I've been long enough. I've been. It's my fourth year now. Wow. Yeah. 
Well, that's a big time, you know. And how do you settle on how to praise your work? Because you've seen, uh, you've seen the wedding, the mm -hmm. wedding in this, uh, the, the event mm -hmm. at large, and also the media personal of media personalities, yes. and also people who come just for photo shooting and all that. How do you really praise your work? Well, uh, I have a, a standard, a mm -hmm. standard praise. Mm -hmm. I don't overcharge and I, mm -hmm. I do not undercharge. So, mm -hmm. uh, like I have a praises for everything. Mm -hmm. So, client can come, mm -hmm. discuss with mm -hmm. and I'm sure what I have, have to offer. Mm -hmm. Then we can start from there. Okay. Yeah. Well, and lately men have really embraced the, the media industry here. Is there potential for men in this industry? Of course. Super big. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually uh, ladies want to appreciate when <laughs> I <dance> them. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh -huh. They really, really appreciate. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, that's nice. And we have different shades of makeup. In that, they are fake makeup mm -hmm. and original makeup. We, how or how can one distinguish the two? Uh, it's quite hard to to distinguish. Once mm -hmm. you store the makeup, but still you need arrange in a prices. You need arrange with price your makeup and you know, buy the kit and uh, also the quality. If Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the, the cheaper the makeup is, the, the lower the quality. Mm -hmm. And the, the more expensive the, the kit is, mm -hmm. the higher the price mm -hmm. and the higher the quality is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we have samples of your, of your makeup, whatever you've done sure. on people. Mm -hmm. That's a, cre uh, a pretty much a kind of work and that's a nice work. Mm -hmm. And are there many clients who come to you and probably are there complaints of clients? Well, uh, even in a group, mm -hmm. I keep on protecting. In, regard, uh, in yeah. regarding of the shades of makeup yeah. and all that. Okay, I name a group and keep affect my job mm -hmm. and what I do because it comes out of a passion. Mm -hmm. So uh, I manage to minimize complaints mm -hmm. and uh, I make sure like uh, I manage to range current, but una, most of the time you have a like current corner uh, difference here. Kenya attacker, the Kenya as a offer. Ama what I see. They are different. They are different. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And um, globally, you know, um, we are talking about coronavirus day in, day out. Mm -hmm. Has it really affected the importation of, of probably legit products of makeup? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it may affect, affect sana, 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 because in Aqua so hard to import products because we don't have uh, locally manufactured products. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can one consider makeup as a profitable and viable career to do? Of course. We are here. Mm -hmm. I've given that in my family for four years and mm -hmm. I'm still going. Mm -hmm. I'm still, there are so many other guys in my mentor and there's some guys, guys are coming up. So, mm -hmm. so And then there are people who are selling those makeup kits mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's a good thing to venture. How, how, how really profitable is it? It's quite sustainable. Mm -hmm. sure. like like paying rent can of course <laughs> okay yeah. okay and you know there, there there are many things that one is required to have mm -hmm. so that you can be a good um, uh, um uh, someone good in in whatever you you do yeah. and are there requirements that one needs to become a good artist yeah sure you need uh, <coughs> to uh, knowledge uh, your field when you go. Mm -hmm. And still, we have to do knowledge of products in mm -hmm. uh, So, we have to experience them. So, it's advisable to grow and when you are So, they keep on educating you about the products, the changing products, and they keep on evolving. It's come, Ming is come, mm -hmm. and others disappear. So, mm -hmm. you have to keep yourself on toes. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. And there are many challenges that um, that comes up in. in one of um i'm kind of applying makeup each and every day yeah. is it really advisable to 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 apply makeup day in day out is it really advisable yeah sure it, uh, it all depends now when i'm gonna fit mm -hmm. but uh what we don't recommend is nikurana makeup mm -hmm. now the methods that kutua makeup that we see arena makeup uh, mm -hmm. make sure we may peer, may keep your, your skin mm -hmm. hydrated with and mm -hmm. moisturized mm -hmm. that's all and ca ca can it have long time effects not really. The inanga long time effects. Mm -hmm. uh, the border to not make quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And pe people pe people tend to 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 pursue makeup in that when you apply makeup you you kinda 
um, pro 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 produce ama reflect the the kind of the confidence you have is it does does makeup really most probably in ladies yeah. in ladies sure it does actually uh, to be honest mm -hmm. uh, ladies when you make makeup vizuri unaza mwiji kwenye yako and actually when you are presenting yourself before mm -hmm. uh, something na kuona your appearance it's all about makeup it's all about enhancing the appearance mm -hmm. so when ukikaa mse na kapoa na kama ji makeup vizuri na kaka serious actually mwana kumenya kona makeup na kaka kona confidence na kona confidence then it's, mm -hmm. it's a good mm -hmm. kick Okay, yeah. and are there different shades of makeup? Probably, if you're if you're attending a wedding, or probably um um, um media personnel, mm -hmm. or an event, are there are there specific kind of makeup that one should apply? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, kuna ranges of makeup. Kuna a day makeup. Mm -hmm. Kuna like uh, like the when you come, mm -hmm. yeah, like because of the lights. Mm -hmm. Na kuna ingine ya uh, ya usiku. Mm -hmm. Na still. They are make up ya yeah, like the weddings and the functions. They are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are many things that people tend to do to 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 embrace the makeup industry, mm -hmm. but but there are, there are people who who tend to to even go to an extent of plastic surgeries. Sure. In that embracing probably the the tattoos yeah. on the eyebrows. On the eyebrows. Yeah. 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 How can you explain about that? Well. Uh, na mimi na believe kila kitu mimi naona ajo kina dipa beauty is all about confidence mm -hmm. and you feel like you na fuck in a certain position that you boost your confidence then go for it you can find that uh, maybe unapata skin yako kuna venye iko fresh mm -hmm. so you can uh, na kuna a some uh, kind of a way to enhance it so just go for it because if in a boost your confidence then go for it mm -hmm. sure Okay, and in the in the you you're in this business sector of mm -hmm. the of the makeup industry. Mm -hmm. Are there strategies that you make probably when you come to your income, whatever mm -hmm. you get, mm -hmm. uh, are, is it? Um, do you do you kind of strategize on what to save, or you just kind of use it all of it? No, not really. Of course, uh, okay, I'm a young man too, mm -hmm. so I need to pick a share of kidogo and still to save for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No one knows about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to keep myself on to so I, so I need to save, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can just a little bit explain to mm -hmm. to to viewers out there mm -hmm. that if one really um um you kind of get three hundred, mm -hmm. and you do person you do a person makeup, and he or she tends to give you probably a thousand shilling, mm -hmm. and for you you've used your makeup and so you tend to go and use all the one thousand shilling that you've got it from this um client mm -hmm. to buy to restore your makeup is it really advisable okay in any business una mm -hmm. faku ku stock mhm mm uh una faku pesa nyume fanya kwa client lazima utoe profit yako na kazi so lazima like hii na call for a financial what do you call this uh uko na uko financial dependent that design decisions you know make una za kwa like example me pay a thousand Mm -hmm. Nafaku toa profit yangu, hiyo ni profit yangu. Hiyo mm -hmm. nitaspend venye nataka. Mm -hmm. Na pia kuna yenye nitasevia for kayo kazi because hata kiti na haribikanga ama inapotea. So mm -hmm. yeah. That's why hiyo yeah. ndo natumia ku buy ama ku upgrade. Okay. Yeah. As we are coming close to this um interview, mm -hmm. you can just briefly tell us um your your the, the the schools or the colleges that people should tend to 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 study so mm. that they can get the good makeup um qualities uh well in choosing uh should they know for makeup mm -hmm. you uh, should they know a, a good history mm -hmm. ama any the ni marketable because kuna tuko kwa mengi ya kufanya kufunza makeup there are so many guys who are teaching how to do makeup mm -hmm. and uh wako tu kwa biashara Mm -hmm. But kuna mtu ana kufunza na kusho steps mm -hmm. za ku za ku gain na steps za ku grow. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, like cars uh, like Dan tumekam mm -hmm. na atukona shule okay. ya beauty. Okay. Ni tuwa Brinti Beauty College okay. tunafunza makeup. Mm -hmm. Actually what happens with us the can you not find it quite special is because client uh, tuna expose our client uh, students mm -hmm. outside. Tunawapea platform ya nje. Yeah. 
and given that that still we have a spa to na pay chance ya ku interact now our clients mm-hmm. so they they uh, wanna wanna boost their esteem mm-hmm. and still they wanna grow kuna yeah. kenyiko in the industry yeah so and then uh to kuna to na maji to ma we do to na tafuta ng jobs mm-hmm. like to kiwana some gigs to na tafuta gigs and uh, they do make us so it's all about uh kuna msenye na ku said ku go to the next level mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. wow That's great. Thank you Daniel Moro for coming. Okay. And as you've heard our viewer that you're supposed to have passion to do whatever you want to do and definitely you will venture into it very very well. And but today's the society makeup or every everywhere it's all about makeup. Go to the media personalities, the event the eventing planning all that and as we come closer to this i would leave you with a quote that says a money a penny saved is a penny gained so whatever you get out of your income please do save it my name is joan dego have a blessed night god bless